be showing you how to edit and render or make your Minecraft character bend in Blender. Now I'm gonna assume you already have Blender and you already know how to use it a bit. If you don't, then hop in into how to use a Blender tutorial. Now just the basics, just middle click, moves you around, that's all it does. Uh, and then zoom in and out. That's all you're gonna use today. Alright, so if you don't have Blender, go ahead into the description where you can find Blender and how to download it. And then also how to download this, which is basically the render of your character. Now, I'm already assuming you already downloaded them and opened them. Now, you'll see this. It will have an image here. What you need to do is click image and then you need to replace image and then find your skin's um, normal image, or like your skin's um, uh, your skin file, and then open it. And then, not your picture, your skin file, which looks like that. And then open it. Alright, so after you've done that, um, this is what you're gonna have, your Minecraft character. It looks blurry. I know that it looks blurry. Um, I really don't know how to change it, although they do explain it into the, um, their website. Alright, so here we have it. Here we have our Minecraft character. Now what we need to do is actually start bending it. Now you can see the bones right there, um, that they actually, um, that your character is actually in the bones which means that you can actually um, bend with ease. Now to bend, all you need to do is right click on the bone, press R, and then you can move it left or right. And you can also, if you don't want it to be like that, you can also right click and press R twice to freely move it around. As you can see, we're gonna make him look like that. Um, I want to actually make him go to his head. Oh my gosh, that's, that looks horrible. Uh, go to his head type of thing. Um, and I want to make his head a bit down. There you have it. This is like a face palm type of thing. But, uh, we need to, we can bend whatever part that we're, we want. And then we can be like that, and then we can actually move the whole thingy here and there. It looks really much like a face palm. Yeah, there we go. Ah, it looks better like that. Okay, so here we have it. Here's our Minecraft character and we can actually bend the uh, knees too. We could be like, hey man, we could be like that. There could be heel and put the character like that. Here we have it. So here we have our Minecraft character. Now what else we what else can we do? If we go ahead to render and then render the image, and I'm gonna have to zoom out on this one, you would actually see that it perfectly renders what we actually uh, told them to. Now for me it'll render twice and I'm going to show you why and how I'm doing that. Uh, so you can see the character being like that. Now let's say we're perfectly fine with it, but let's say you don't want to be perfectly fine with it and you want to change the lightning a bit, lighting. What you can do is you go here, this is a sun, and you can actually move the sun around. Just uh, hold right click, or just right click once and then left click to... Um, Tell it yes. That's a question. That's a thing I wanted to do. And then right click. I mean, press R to actually rotate the sun. And we can we can do we can go like that. And then we can change it even more. And we can have direct lighting or however we want it to be. Okay, it can be like that. And then after we render the image again, you would see that the lighting has actually changed. And then you can see the face is a bit more black and we we don't have any lighting effects there. 
How sadly I still don't know how to make it hold items. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm yet to figure that out. But uh, we can actually change it, change the lighting wherever we want. And also, we can actually change the camera angle. So I can actually have the camera. No, not like that, with the camera. I can actually have it a bit up, and then if I render the image, it'll actually render from the face area. And now you can see uh, this is a bug, it doesn't have a face because I actually. Um, I'm gonna stop the render for a bit. Okay, so because I actually um, made, uh, made the sun don't look at the face. So if, if the sun looks at the face, then it can be light. Like litten. Yep. Right, so this could be this could do it and then oops. Then I'm gonna move the camera a bit down so I can Yep. Right, and then I just wanna quickly edit the hand because it doesn't seem right. There we go. And then be like this. Okay. So after we've done using or like changing the um the character to whatever we want to change it to, there are a few options that we need to choose. Now, after your character has rendered, you probably will see jacky lines like these ones over here. What basically these jacky lines are is called the aliasing. These are lines because pixels are not straight, they go they do the staircase effect and this is the staircase effect. And we actually need to improve it so it doesn't actually, so you don't actually see it. Now to do that, I've already made a preset for it. But if you go to the render presets here, you click on that and then click HDTV 1080p, it will actually make the character look 1080p, just like that. So while it's rendering, I'm going to show you the next things. Um, if we go down, what we need to choose is anti-aliasing. What that basically would do is remove the jack line, the jack the lines. Now you can see them a bit into these, but once we go to the thumbnail, it won't be easy to view. Or once we actually, um, once we uh, render the image, it won't be that easy to view. Um, you could use the anti-aliasing up to 16, and then you could use whatever pixel filter you actually want to use. Uh, the Gaussian, the box filter, one of them. Or the default one. Now, there's really nothing I could find. There's really nothing I can find about the difference between those uh, those two. I uh, don't really explain it that much. But let's say I want to use Gaussian for these. Now, I'm not going to use a full sample, and because I want it to be motion blurred, which basically will make these blur. And this is why it's raining twice because the motion samples are two. We can actually make it up to 32, and it will take an extremely long time to render. And yeah, it's going to take an extremely long time to render, and hopefully it will be better. Um, but while it's rendering, I'm going to move on. The shutter is 2.0. Now, there's nothing else I change for this. Now, what we can do after we actually render the image to this HD um, option, what we need to do is we need to save this as an actual image file. To do that, all we need to do is go down here, which is which says image, and then save image, save as image, and then I'm gonna quickly go to the documents file because why not? And then select it as untitled. Now, if I go back to the documents and then find untitled is right here. You can see it's pretty hard to find the jacked lines, the jacked lines, and that's why I never use up to 32. But you can always do whatever you want to. Uh, and yeah, so thanks for watching. This is basically how to bend your Minecraft character. This is the basics. This isn't anything um, advanced. But yeah, thanks for watching, and leave it a like if you like this video. And I definitely appreciate that, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.